Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, cinematic trailer title animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see I have already imported the texture image file, you can download it for free, from below link in the description. So without any wait let's start creating our trailer title. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as trailer title. As usual width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Set time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect. Let's create a new solid. We will name it as background. Now in effects and presets, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the solid background layer. Let's change start and end color. Here you can set any color you want for your background. Set ramp scatter value to 300. Perfect. Now let's add the texture file to our timeline. Here you can scale texture file to fit the composition, or go to transform, and select fit to comp. Or you can do it by pressing ctrl plus alt plus f. Now for texture layer, press p to bring up the position. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for position. Now at end of the timeline, adjust the position value for x-axis as shown. Now in effects and presets, search for CC Reptile. Add it to texture layer. Now for CC Reptile, we need to increase expand left value. Perfect. Let's change tiling to unfold. Let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's recompose the texture image. Let's name it as reflection map. Now, we need to add our text. First let's hide the reflection map composition for some time. Let's start adding our text. Here I am using barn shrift font family. Let's increase font size. Let's align the text to the center. Now let's add the subtext. Let's reduce the font size for subtext. Now align it to the center. Perfect. Now for subtext let's add tracking. In animate, select tracking. Now at end of the timeline. Create a keyframe for tracking. Change tracking amount to 5. Now at start of the timeline. Change tracking amount to near about 60. Select both created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now you need to adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select both text layers. 
Now let's pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text. Now let's unhide the reflection map composition. For reflection map, change track mat to alpha mat text. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to reflection map composition. For CC glass, change bump map to text composition. Change softness value to near about 45. Change height value to 20. Change displacement value to 160. In light. Change light type to point light. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to reflection composition. For CC blob eyes, in blowiness, change blob layer to text composition. Change property to alpha. Now let's change softness to 8. Change cutaway value to 3. In light, change light type to point light. If you want you can also adjust the light position. Now let's add text composition to timeline. Let's hide reflection map composition for some time. Now for text composition. Go to layer style, select bevel and emboss. In blending option. Go to advanced blending. Change fill opacity to 0%. Now in bevel and emboss. Change technique to chisel soft. Change depth value to 1000%. Change size to near about 50. Change soften value to 5. Now change angle to 180 degree. Change altitude to 80. Change highlight mode to overlay. Change highlight opacity to 15%. Change shadow opacity to 35%. Now from layer styles, select color overlay. Now in color overlay, change color as shown. Perfect. Now again add text composition to timeline. Now for text composition. Go to layer style, select bevel and emboss. In blending option. Go to advanced blending. Change fill opacity to 0%. Now in bevel and emboss. Change technique to chisel soft. Change depth value to 250%. Change soften value to 5. Change highlight mode to difference. Change highlight opacity to 100. Change shadow mode to linear burn. If you want you can also change shadow color. Now change shadow opacity to 100. Perfect. Now select both text composition. Pre-compose them. Name it as alpha. Now for alpha composition. Change mode to add. Now let's unhide the reflection map composition. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for unsharp mask. Add it to the adjustment layer. 
now in effects and presets search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 1 second and 20 frame. Create a keyframe for field of view. Now at start of the timeline. Change field of view value to 80. Now select reverse lens distortion. Now change field of view orientation to vertical. Now for adjustment layer press U to view created keyframe. Now select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in effects and preset search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for blur radius. Now change blur radius to 0. Now at start of the timeline. Change blur radius to 50. Now for edge behavior, select repeat edge pixels. Now select blur radius keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now change reflection map composition, text composition and alpha composition to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Now parent camera to null object. Change null object to 3D. Now for null object, press P to bring up the position. Now at 2 second. Create a keyframe for position. Now at start of timeline. Change position value for Z axis as shown. Now select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Set color to black. Now select rectangle tool. Now draw mask as shown. Change mask mode to subtract. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Similarly you can create more titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.